Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you what you can do when a VLOOKUP doesn't produce the results you're expecting. So, first of all, let's have a look at what a VLOOKUP should do and could do. So I've got some data here. I'm using this as an example. And I'm going to colour this box in and just give you an example there. So I'm going to use this cell as a point of reference to pull off this information. So the VLOOKUP is going to go in this cell, K4. So I, I type equals VLOOKUP and then it wants the value. So the value I'm going to look up is going into this yellow cell and it needs a comma. Then it needs a table. So the table is going to be this area. Then it needs a comma and then it wants to look at the column. So this first one is just going to be column two, which is the description. That is column one, column two, column three, and then another column, and then finally a zero, or you can put false for an exact match. Now when I click the tick, I get NA because there's nothing in there. But if I type in ABC, it comes back with nuts. And that's how a, a simple VLOOKUP works. Nothing too complicated about that. But what happens when the data is not from Excel and maybe it's come from a financial database and it's dropped in and it has a space. So this one, for example, has got a space there in front of the ABC and that happens quite a lot in data that comes into a CSV file and then it's converted into a, an Excel file and people are trying to look it up. So what I've got on the second sheet is just uh, an example of that. So let's do the VLOOKUP. So this, let's say this is a code that you've got and you've just dropped this information in from a financial system and you want to do a VLOOKUP. So you do exactly the same. You go equals VLOOKUP and you're selecting this value and you're looking for the table which is on the other sheet which is this table. So I'll just highlight that. And you still want the second column and you still want an exact match. Close the bracket, click the tick and you get an error message. And the error message is because even though that is the correct code and these codes that look the same are correct as well, but the fact that they've all got a space in front of them is causing a problem because a space ABC is not the same as ABC. Now there is a function called trim in um, Excel which will get rid of spaces but if I put trim around the, this formula trim and then just close the bracket at the end it still won't work because there is no space on that on this lookup value so trim I'll just undo that trim can't be used um, so what can we do what we can do is adjust this cell reference here so instead of just a2 we could put a little open quotes an asterisk which means any character close quotes so that's like a text string and then to concatenate it or join it with the cell reference you need an and sign so that's linked like so and when you click the tick there it picks up the right information now, if we went onto this sheet, now you could you could say, well, why don't I just put trim on this one and just have it sitting next to it? Yes, you could. Um, if I go and look, want that to come back, you know, this this column, I could go equals V lookup, open the bracket. So I'm looking up that value, comma. Uh, in this table so this is going to be a bit of a problem here so I probably need to type that in there so I'm going to look up I'll put that in there in quotes ABC in quotes and then after the I'm looking in that table I want column 2 column 0 close the bracket click the tick so I get NA uh, because there is a space if I put in front of that, let's see what happens if I put trim in front of that. Trim all that. 
and click the tick it still comes up with an A now if I change that back to a cell reference it comes back with nuts so let's just do that bit again so let's have a look at what happens if you just come and do a VLOOKUP on this table so it's, this is the one that's got the space in it so if I go equals VLOOKUP look up open the bracket we're going to look up that comma in this area comma column 2 comma exact match close the bracket we get nuts because it is actually looking at that cell and I've clicked on that cell so So that's just a, a little tweak that you can use to get rid of a space that is on a different sheet or even in a different file and you're looking at codes in this particular file. Now obviously you can actually go on to the source file and do the VLOOKUP and click on the cell but that's not always possible. And some of the examples I've seen in financial companies, they have separate files and they're looking across files to check cross-reference things. So the space does cause a problem and this little tweak will sort that out. So hopefully that was of use to you. Uh, thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.